Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Olga tutorial and uh, I think it's been a while since we presented an Olga case and uh, it's a good idea to come back to Olga and uh, just go through another case together. Uh, here again we are going to do uh, another pigging scenario but this time with uh, PID controller which is going to be quite new for us. Um, if you look at the model you can see that there are two pressure nodes at the inlet and outlet uh, which suggests us that this is a pressure driven case. If I double click on the inlet you can see that the pressure is set at 117 bar and 10 degrees of centigrade and if I double click at the outlet you can see this is 100 bar at 10 degrees of centigrade which gives us 17 bar of pressure difference as a driving force. Um, if I click on the pipeline before anything else uh, you can see that this is a pipeline of uh, this is a pipeline of uh, let's say 10 kilometer horizontal and then uh, there is a vertical riser of 500 meter toward the end of pipeline and then there is another 100 horizontal pipeline at the top of the uh, riser. All right. So if I go back to the model. You can see that uh, there is a plug here. Uh, of course, this is a pigging scenario. We have to define the plug. If I click on the plug, you can see that under positions, there are two plug positions defined. Uh, one is plug start and one the other one is plug uh, trap. So the plug start is set uh, quite in the beginning of the pipeline at uh, pipe 1, section 2, and the plug trap is at pipe 3, section 2, which is just uh, upstream of the valve position. All right, and if I just double click on the plug again, I mean, you can see some of the physical properties such as the static force, wall friction, uh, I mean the mass and diameter of the plug, which uh, all of them are quite uh, default values of the Olga itself. So the insert time, the only thing that is changed is the insert time, um, which is at 300 seconds. And this means that we are going to insert the plug at a second of 300. All right, um, then we have defined a PID controller here, which is quite new here. Uh, the PID controller is connected to a transmitter and then uh, at the end of the PID controller, it's connected to the valve opening. So the PID controller basically is saying us um, control a value of a transmitter by opening and closing the valve. So if you look at the transmitter, the variable that is set for the transmitter is GG. GG is the, uh, is the mass of the gas in the system, is the mass of the gas in the pipeline. So we have a variable that we are transmitting to the, pi to the PID controller and we know that that variable is mass of the gas. And in the PID controller, we are saying that, okay, set the transmitter value to 44 whatever the unit is, in this case is kilogram per second. And uh, by opening and closing the valve here, try to set the set point at 44 kilogram per second. So this means that the PID controller is constantly controlling the transmitter value by opening and closing the valve in the system. Uh, of course, there are some uh, parameters for the PID controllers. This is a uh, PID controllers. There is amplification, there is bias, there is a derivative constant, there is integral constant. I mean, the, if you are not familiar with the idea of the PID controller, if you don't know what uh, the mathematical formula of the PID controller is, I suggest that you either Google it a bit and uh, make, yourself, uh, make yourself familiar with the concept or uh, actually use Olga help this is uh, quite uh, useful here if you press on F1 and then go to model description uh, you can see some uh, uh, mathematical formulation here 
so I suggest that you read through this tutorial, I mean this help uh, page, uh, which is going to help you quite a lot. Um, I think that's the setup for the PID controller and uh, I believe that you're ready to run the case but before that we I'm going to show you what kind of uh, uh, trend values I'm going to plot if you go to trend data you can see that the, the things that I have selected for example is the time step is the number of time steps these are the global values the volume, uh, the global maximum error, uh, the valve opening, uh, the peak velocity, the peak position, and etc. So uh, let's just uh, run the case and look at some of the results. If you agree, you can either click F5 or you can click on this button here. As you can see, we are also using a PVT tab file, uh, which is already defined under, uh, which is already defined under files. If you look at here, you have uh, I have defined the PVT file here, which is peak, which is called peak PVT tab. All right, let's see if the simulation is finished. Yes, the simulation is. Uh, uh, run for 1.67 hour and now we can look at some of the results uh, let's look at some of the trend plots for example for I don't know we can take a look at the valve opening uh, as a start to see how the valve opening has worked so you can see that the valve opening was uh, more or less open for let's say 20 or 2 percent and then toward the end uh, it has opened quite uh, a lot to let's say 8% and then it has come back to something less than 2%. This is probably because of the pigging uh, uh, operation that has made this to work like that. So I can I can plot some of uh, some other met some other things. Uh, let's say I can plot uh, um, some of the variables for pigging. Let's say I want to look at the ZZ plug, uh, which is the position or the, the distance that the pig has traveled. I can look at some of the controllers variables. Uh, let's see what the controller output has done. Uh, which is which I believe is the same as the choke opening this controller is actually working on the choke Therefore the controller variable is going to be the same as the valve opening um, Maybe we can look at the velocity of the peak Yeah All right, the red one is the position that the the, the peak has traveled. So this is the start at 300 seconds and then it has traveled quite a distance of let's say 900,000 meter and then it has stopped it has trapped here just before the valve uh, I can deselect this and then you can see the controller which is exactly the same as the valve opening as I said and then we can see at the velocity of the pig itself the pig has started to be uh, inside the pipeline it has traveled at almost a constant value of two meter per second and then toward the end uh, it has increased the velocity a bit and then it's trapped uh, at the end of the pipeline um, so i think uh, this is it more or less uh, uh, i was supposed to talk a little bit about the pid controller in a pigging scenario and i think uh, it was kind of new for all of us i hope uh, you have enjoyed it just go through the pid controller definition mathematical definition uh, either in the olga help or uh, use google there are a lot of uh, tons of material in google for pid controller i hope uh, you have enjoyed it until next time bye